intentions, we also bring before the Lord our own intentions and we offer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and dear sisters in Jesus Christ, today we celebrate the birthday of our blessed Virgin Mary. St. Augustine calls it, it is a feast of all the feasts, precisely because through her birth and through her life we receive our Savior. Only in the liturgical calendar we celebrate three birthdays. The rest of them, saints and martyrs, we celebrate of their death. In other words, their birth into eternal life. But Blessed Virgin Mary's birth is being celebrated precisely because through her we receive our Savior. As we celebrate this great feast, Mary, our mother, teaches us to be humble, yet be obedient. As we come to offer this Holy Eucharist, we call to our mind for the many times where we have failed, and we ask of the Lord for his pardon and his mercy. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, God in, the in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Impart your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gifts of heavenly grace that the feast of the nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, the time when she who is in labor has given birth. A reading from the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, 
he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or Psalm. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. As for me, I trust in your merciful love. Let my heart rejoice in your salvation. I will, I will greatly, greatly rejoice, rejoice, in rejoice in the Lord. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. I will, I will greatly, greatly rejoice, rejoice in, in the Lord. Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving all of praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, sing praise to his name. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today, if we open up our WhatsApp or any other social media, perhaps the one image that stands out would be the image of our Blessed Mother, where she is decorated so beautifully with beautiful clothing, with beautiful flowers and an excellent light system. We do all this to show that we love our mother as we celebrate her birthday. All these things remind us that Mary, being born in a small remote village in Nazareth, becomes the mother of God. She was born like any one of us, so insignificant, but she was chosen to become the mother of the Savior. So we celebrate this with joy, telling the world that we love her because she has brought forth the Savior into the world. And as we celebrate any birthdays, it is common 
that we try to praise the person with their good qualities and try to imbibe them in our lives as well. Today, perhaps, as we are celebrating this feast, the nativity of our mother, we can take few qualities of Mary to be our own qualities. First of all, the helping nature of our mother. When she heard that Elizabeth is conceived at her old age, she runs in haste to help her cousin who was in need. And again, at the wedding feast of Cana, she could have been like any other wedding guest, enjoying mingling around the people, but she saw the need and went ahead requesting her son for a miracle. And again at the foot of the cross, none of the disciples of Jesus stood with him except John. And Mary walks along the way with Jesus, strengthening him, though she did not understand. So firstly, what we can learn is to be a person helping like Mary, our mother. Second quality could be for us today is the aspect of pondering. Mary did not understand everything. The moment angel Gabriel came and told her that she is going to become the mother of the Lord, she just said yes, though she did not understand. There are many aspects that she did not understand, but she kept everything in her heart, pondering. Today we too are going through a tremendous time in the human history and we do not understand why. Like Mary, we place all our trust in the Lord, completely surrendering, surrendering ourselves and ponder on the will of God. Third aspect would be, Mary, born in a remote place, had to go through so much of hardships in her life. She experienced early pregnancy in her life. She was a poor widow at the young age. And later, she lost her only hope in Jesus, where he was murdered as a political victim. And this mother, so much wounded, with so much of difficulties, still stands as a faithful servant of God, doing the will of God. Today, there are so many mothers, sisters, women being abused, tortured, and as the people who celebrate the feast of our mother, it is our response to help those in need and to put an end for these kinds of violence. So as we are celebrating this feast, let us ask our mother, who never abandons our children, to intercede for us so that we grow as faithful children of God. Amen. We lift our voices Brothers and dear sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son, 
come, O Lord, to our aid. And may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis our Bishop Peter and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all 
we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with your, your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since, Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself, unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. my strength when i am weak you are my treasure that i seek you are my all in all seeking you as a precious jewel god to be cool i'd be a fool you are my all in all
Let us pray. May your church exult, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries. As she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us bow for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen.